yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video and another exotic weapon review. Now apologies there is no Zua video this morning, I am currently over in Seattle at Bungie HQ getting some House of Wolves footage for you guys. And as a result of that I'm not able to make the video this morning but fear not, weekly Zua videos will return next week. But in the meantime, to fill the void, I want to take a look at another weapon I have yet to review. This time the exotic machine gun Thunderlord. First of all, let's just get out of the way this thing is an absolute beast. It's called Thunderlord for a reason. If you ever take this thing into a nightfall and there's Arkburn, well, let's just say I feel sorry for the enemies. In case it isn't already blindingly obvious, Thunderlord is an arc damage weapon. It's got a high rate of fire, good impact, and provided you have the perfect balance perk selected, really good stability. But what else makes this stand out? Well, first up, the perk Feeding Frenzy means that kills with this weapon increase the reload speed for a short period of time. And if you have this paired up with the Flared Magwell perk, then you'd have a pretty insane reload speed for a machine gun. However, I still favour the Perfect Balance perk simply because, invariably, you have enough bullets in the clip to do the damage you need, and reloading a weapon like this quickly, while useful, isn't critical, especially not when you could instead have increased stability. Then on top of that, the defining perk Lightning Rounds. This weapon fires faster and more accurately the longer the trigger is held. So in other words, while you may burst fire some machine guns, this one genuinely does reward the good old fashioned spray and pray mentality. But there's more. See, some exotic weapons have hidden perks, and Thunderlord is one such weapon. Take a look at this. This is Fatebringer, the hand cannon from the Vault of Gloss. And the reason I bring this up is because of this perk, Firefly. Precision kills with this weapon cause the target to explode. Thunderlord has a Firefly-esque hidden perk. It's not listed, that's why it's hidden, but when you do land a kill, it has a chance of triggering this effect. It's not as guaranteed as the Fatebringer, but it's most definitely present as you can see here. So, that's an overview of the weapon. Now let's talk PvE and PvP. First up, PvE. This is, without a doubt, a weapon suited to dealing with both large groups of enemies and bosses. With the Lightning Rounds perk encouraging you to use this weapon with the trigger held down, it's clearly not something you want to use to pick up the occasional, individual, potentially weak enemy. It's designed to cut through armies of enemies or inflict constant pain at a boss's critical spot. As such, places like the Abyss or when you've woken the Hive are great examples of where you deal with hordes of enemies, and on top of that, that's also a situation where you're most likely to trigger the Firefly-esque hidden perk. And as I stated earlier, if there's an arc burn, then hunt down that boss and go to town. But what about PvP? Given that the weapon encourages you to hold down the trigger for greater stability, does this still make it viable in the Crucible? Especially when you aren't exactly going to encounter huge groups of players in one place on a regular basis, they are normally pretty spread out. And the answer is yes, it is still viable. Generally, as you are no doubt aware, when you have a heavy weapon in the Crucible, no matter what it is, it's pretty good at killing the enemy. But Thunderlord's increased stability means you can use it at relatively good distances, and even if you don't spray and pray, you'll still take down your enemy in a few shots. Plus, if you do just happen to roll up on the entire team in a game of control, then hold down that trigger and go to town. So, that's Thunderlord, now let's talk ratings. I've been doing this in all my recent weapon reviews, and I've been giving this gun two ratings. One from me, with a more PvE bias, and one from 269, whom you know runs this channel with me and is the much better Crucible player, giving you a rating from a more PvP weighted angle. So, I'm going to give this weapon 4 stars. And you might be wondering why, when I've just spent the past few minutes raving about just how good it is. And in short, while Thunderlord is, without a doubt, an amazing exotic weapon, and if Zur sells it, you should definitely buy it, I reserve the 5 star ratings for what I believe to be the absolute best exotics in the game namely Yalahorn and Icebreaker. And while Thunderlord is right up there, I can't help feeling that at times it's a little too situational for my liking. It's great on bosses, it's great on groups, but then so is something like the Song of Air Yurt and Arc Damage Legendary Machine Gun. Albeit not quite the same, it does still fill the gap for the most part and two deals some nasty damage in Arc Burn scenarios. As for 269, he rates this with 4.5 stars, saying that it is a really stable machine gun, which makes it great for the Crucible, and if you're precise with your shots, you can quite easily go on long killing sprees with this weapon. So, there you have it. Those are the ratings, that's Thunderlord, and this was my weapon review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and as always if you did, it'd be awesome if you could leave a like and hit that thumbs up button, and if you aren't already subscribed and you aren't already part of the Arax Gaming Nation, then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. 
Let me know in the comments down below if you were going to rate this weapon out of 5, where would you put it? And once again, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.